Hello, I'm Amanda and I'd like to share with you a book which has been part of my inner anthology for some considerable time. The book is Persuasion by Jane Austen and it's a book that I first read when I was a teenager and I still have that copy which is here, wonderful cover, it's falling to pieces because it's been read and reread so many times. When I first read it, I think I read it primarily for its joy as a love story of a young woman who is thwarted in love in extreme youth and after a series of trials and tribulations finds the man that she was destined to be with. But I think even when I was young, I knew it was much more than that. Um, and I enjoyed it and reread it, little snippets of it from time to time, perhaps when I was supposed to be studying for exams or when there was troubling something troubling me. I'd come back to it and pick it up. Uh, I can see that younger self that I was standing in a hallway um, saying to myself, I'll just read this chapter, knowing that I had something else to be doing. But it brought me comfort to revisit the people in the book. And I think that's why I went back to it. I felt as though I knew the people. It's a story of a family, really. Um, a family in a broader society. But what is devastatingly alive and which jumped off the pages when I first read it and has continued to do so are those people. You feel as though you know them that these are people that you recognise with all their flaws, with all their funny habits, with all their endearing qualities. And at the heart of it are um, two young people, one that we know particularly well, Anne Elliot, she that I mentioned who was thwarted in her young life. What happened was she was in love uh, with a young man, but he wasn't um, the match that her family approved of, and worse, he wasn't the match that her mother's best friend approved of. And Anne's mother died when um, Anne was a, a child, so this best friend, whose name is Lady Russell, was the nearest that Anne had to uh, a mother and to someone who would give her advice and offer her direction and help her. And the advice that Anne got as a 19-year-old was not to throw herself away on a young man who was perfectly respectable even by early 19th century standards but didn't come from good family and didn't have a fortune. And Lady Russell didn't think he was good enough for Anne. So Anne was persuaded to give up the engagement um, and the um, man that she was in love with, um, Captain Frederick Wentworth, went away to sea, and became a hero, but didn't come back to marry Anne. He does come back into the novel, but not to marry Anne. I won't um, spoil the story by telling you what happens, but I would like to read just one section from um, pretty late on in, in the book, which um, is a passage which has come back to me time and again. Um, and is something to do with not just growing up, but all of us being human and making our decisions and living with de the decisions we've made. And this is Anne reflecting on her decision to follow the advice that she was given as a young woman, even though it made her miserable. And this is what she says. I have been thinking over the past and trying impartially to judge of the right and wrong. I mean with regard to myself. And I must believe that I was right, much as I suffered from it, that I was perfectly right to be guided by the friend whom you will know and love better. To me, she was in the place of a parent. Do not mistake me. I am not saying that she did not err in her advice. It was perhaps one of those cases in which advice is good or bad only as the event decides 
And for myself, I certainly never, in any circumstances of tolerable similarity, should give such advice. But I mean that I was right in submitting to her, and that if I had done otherwise, I should have suffered more in continuing the engagement than I did even in giving it up, because I should have suffered in my conscience. I think of that, the decisions that I've made in my life, and whether they were made for the right reasons at the time, and what it is like to live with them afterwards. But it's a great read, and one I thoroughly recommend. Thank you.